Hello, I'm Troy, and this is Tater. Hi. In this episode, we will be talking about the Detroit Lions playoff. This is episode one of the TT and Tater podcast. Okay, our beloved Detroit Lions started off the playoffs as they won 24-23, to and it was a wild one. To add, Matthew Stafford was leading the bummy Rams to a first-round playoff exit. Thank God we traded that bum a while ago. Okay, going into the stat world, Jared Goff threw for 277 yards and one touchdown pass to Sam Laporta. Our leading rusher was David Montgomery with 57 rushing yards and one touchdown. And our leading wide receiver was my boy, Amonara St. Brown, with 110 receiving yards. To the Rams' stats, their total yards were 425. Their leading receiver was Puka Nakua with 181 receiving yards. And the Ma- and Matthew Stafford threw for 367 yards, which is still that was a pretty good game with two touchdowns. Their rushing leader was Kareem Williams with 63 rushing yards. A decent game, but Matthew Stafford still had a better one. The Rams' stats looked better than the Lions, but the Lions' defense pulled it together with um a but a good with our a couple sacks, and we'll get into the defense stats later and injuries and that stuff. But they pulled it together and we got the W. It was the Lions' first home playoff win in 32 years. And did you know it was the most expensive playoff game um, ticket-wise? The Lions will be playing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at four field for the divisional round of playoffs. And if they win that, they will play for the NFC Championship game. And hopefully they win that so they can make it to their first Super Bowl. And to add on, the, the Detroit Lions really won against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and they are playing in the NFC Championship game against the San Francisco 49ers. Also, if the Lions, which they already did, went against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they would play um, Sam, the San Francisco 49ers, which they beat the Green Bay Packers 24-21 to in that game. We can talk about that in another episode. It, it will be. It was an intense game for Detroit Lions fans. Baker Mayfield threw two interceptions, a game winner, and he, that was his. First, this was his first year with the Buccaneers. After this is like his second year. He's in the past two years. He's played on four different teams: the Browns, the Rams. Carolina Panthers, the Rams, and now the Buccaneers. So, they could trade him again, or I think he'll just keep him. He had a pretty decent season with the Buccaneers, and they could make it to the playoffs again. Hey, Tater, how do you think the outcome of the game was, and just the game in general, with, like, injuries and stat-wise? Uh, uh, I want to get to injury reports first. Um, Tyler Higby, um... Their that number one nasty title. Knee yeah, the injury. nasty knee injury. He ended up tearing his um it was his MCO and ACO, which that will keep him out probably some of next year too, a couple weeks. And I that, hope he gets back from that too. He is a very solid tight end for yeah, the Los Angeles definitely. Rams. He's a top tight top tight end in the NFL. Um he also has one of these Super Bowls with the Rams and I'm pretty sure twenty twenty one or twenty twenty two. Yeah, he he did. Um I don't think none big Lions players got injured. Um and we did have Sam Laporta that one game. Well before that, the yeah Vikings game where he uh hyperextended his knee, bruised a uh bone. Um, he was wearing a huge um, knee brace. If you were watching the game, it was big. You mm-hmm. could easily see it. Um, I feel like that kind of weighed him down in that game. Well, um, but for the Buccaneers game, they felt he said he felt much better. It was more he felt like he could move 
his um um you know need more and it's better. Uh, Troy, is it okay if I ask you some questions too? Yep. Um. Uh, um. So let's see. What should I ask you about? I'm gonna ask you about how the outcome of the Rams game, how the Rams did that game. The Rams played very solid football. It really looked like their stats in that game. They like if you didn't watch it, you would think the Rams would actually smoke them. But our secondary was playing decent. They scared me in the first half. Um, same. Yeah. Second half they started to come back on the Buccaneers. Oh, the Buccaneers! It was scary. Yes. It was scary in the second half of against the Buccaneers, but the Rams, they, they're, they they're, were scary in the first half. The Rams are a very solid team. And, and I want to bring up one thing. Jer- I have a hot take. Jared Goff might be on his like best game ever. He might be better than Prime Matthew Stafford. So, and, well, if he, I want to talk about Matt. Matthew Stafford and Jared Goff. When Jared Goff is on his A game, he will play very, very well. But when he is on, like, his low game, like, against the Bears, um, there's been a couple games, like Cowboys, which we probably should have won that. Um, we can talk about that the in refs, also another episode. Um, yeah, but at, he, if he's doing well and he doesn't get his head, like, Sometimes, like, when I I play baseball and I strike out or give it a home run or miss a ground ball, I will get in my head, and that will stop me from playing my best game. It happens to all of us. I'm sure it probably happened to you once or twice or a couple yes. times, Troy. Yeah, it could happen to all of us. Um, just getting into our head. And to end off with this episode, I have one more thing to say. Well, two more. Jared Goff, he's off when he's under pressure. And that's the only reason he's really off. And with that, you know the stats of the players, further info about future games, and just the game itself. I hope you enjoyed it, and go Lions!